Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have sparked fury with their recent business endeavors. A royal watcher and socialite claimed the two are insensitive for their actions amidst the current health problems within the royal family. King Charles and Kate Middleton were both diagnosed with cancer this year, the type is currently undisclosed. They are going through treatment for their diagnoses, and Harry and Meghan's business ventures coincidentally occurred around the same time as Kate's health issues. The Mirror U.S. Since Harry and Meghan signed a reported $100 million deal with Netflix in 2020, they've released three docuseries, Harry Meghan, Heart of Invictus, and Live to Lead. In February 2024 at a Netflix event to announce upcoming projects for the streaming service, Netflix chief content officer Bela Bacharya shared that the pair has more projects that are in very early development, a movie, TV show, and a few unscripted shows. In April 2024, Netflix unveiled what two projects are in production this year. The first project is a cooking series spearheaded by Megan. We will see the former Suits star celebrate the joys of cooking, gardening, entertaining, and friendship. The second series will give a look into the world of professional polo primarily filmed at U.S. Open Polo Championship in Wellington, Florida. The royal pair were seen at the Royal Salute Polo Challenge on April 12 and then Harry was seen filming the show on April 13. Along with the project, Meghan recently launched a new venture, a lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard. According to the trademark filing application, the brand will sell home decor, kitchen utilities and a range of spreads and preserves including jellies, jams and nut butter. Meghan sent American Riviera Orchard branded jars of strawberry jam gift baskets to 50 friends and celebrities. Lizzie Cundy, a former friend of Meghan and royal expert, on GBN America lambasted the Duke and Duchesses of Sussex for their timing. Lizzie claimed that Meghan is not reading the room and is attempting to re-establish herself as a Gwyneth Paltrow type. She continued by saying all Harry and Meghan's business ventures are not really relatable. I think it's pretty insensitive when Catherine's, Middleton, going through what she's going through and the king is going through his cancer issues too, it's really insensitive, to be honest, she went on to allege that the pair don't realize how ridiculous they're coming across, adding, they're so into themselves they can't see the wood for the trees. Lizzie had scathing words for Meghan and her lifestyle brand specifically the jams calling them fake, phony and cheesy. The socialite said Meghan need to consider what you've actually done to poor Kate and insisted people are sick to death of her across the pond. Meanwhile on April 18 at the Broadway opening of Zoof's in NYC actress Melissa McCarthy defended pal Meghan against all the criticism and hate she's received to page 6. It bums me out for every woman and every person, that for no reason people just like to attack, she told the outlet that a smart interesting woman that has her own life, for some reason, is incredibly threatening to some people.